Fucking virgins. Hello, hey, weirdos. Hey, everyone. This is Grave Cinema here bringing you yet another video. This is a special one. Very special. This is going to be a rewatch for us because there's no way we haven't already seen this movie. We many, can practically quote this many, movie. Many, many times. And we might just do it. <laughs> yes. Uh, the movie we'll be rewatching for spooky season as it if draws you to an end. Tell already. Hocus Pocus. Not quite horror, but. This is one of our Halloween traditions. It's a Halloween spooky. It's a favorite, and we grew up with it. We did, and it brought magic to our childhoods. Yes, and we'll be Hot Topic shills for a minute here, because they release cool shit every now and again. I'm more than a Hot Topic shill. I bought this in Salem last year, and it is very cute. Yes, but we do have this cardigan they released, and I got this Max tie-dye shirt they finally released. I met Omri Katz last year, at a con, I had to make my own fucking tie dye shirt. Time out though, he did an did awesome not... job making his own tie dye shirt. I did the best I like, could do. No, you honestly like this looks great, but I think yours is better to be more closer to Armory well, Cat's shirt. A bit more accurate to his, but still, there was nothing I could find, so I had to make my own. But I got to meet him, and it was fun. It was great. I got his autograph. Great guy. I got to be jealous because I had to work. But now this year. Now they release something like this, just because Hocus Pocus 2 is, you know, coming out. So On its way. Lots of merch coming, and we're definitely going to be watching that, trust us. <laughs> uh, but it all started with that original. That classic. The classic that meant Halloween was on its way, and the spooky season had begun. Like, Sniff the air, because here's the magic. Before Trick or Treat, this was like the movie that had the most Halloween feeling and spirit I've felt. For me, it was movie I've seen. this movie and When Good Ghouls Go Bad meant it was spooky season and I was a happy, happy human. Yep. But we want to do a video on it. We want to watch it again with yes. you. We want to commentate, review, critique it, wh whatever we do Quote for fair use purposes. Everything. I want to point out the spots that I have physically stood at because I have finally made it to Salem. I'm going to make sure he gets there this year. I'm going to try to get there this year myself. I'm going to drag him by his hair. It's going to be fun. Yes. You'll like so, it. So, <laughs> we're going to watch this. We're going to get to it. And once it's done, we're going to talk more about it and whatever fun trivia items or reviews, how we feel about it, as we usually do for all our videos. Absolutely. So, uh, let's get to it. All right? Yes! Hit play! Hocus Pocus! Considering last year we technically didn't watch this on Halloween. We watched it on November 1st after midnight because eh, close I enough. got home really late. Still Halloween night. So Anyway, yes. let's get to it. To focus, the thing. Focus. To the stuff. Here ah. we go. Oh, you know what? That is like really yeah. exact. Spirit Halloween has a reproduction of this as a journal. This cover right here. The book that is the title sequence. It's great. Kenny Ortega film, as most good Disney films are. And the great music. Emily. Yes, young McGee. Go look for thy sister. Elijah! But look, they conjure. Conjure. Oh my God. Thackeray. Hmm, Thackeray. <laughs> nice tumble, though. I like the colors so much in this movie. Look. The glorious morning. Makes me sick. That's her first line of this movie, and it's a banger. So many good lines in this. Dead man's toe. 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 Let me just spit it. Give it some flavor. A boy. A boy. Sarah gets all excited. Can I touch him? Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Boys love me. But it's a star. All of a sudden, her hood disappears in that and cutaway. She has no eyebrows. Who needs eyebrows? Whatever shall we do with him? Hang him on a hook and let me play with him. No. As white when he is white. Jump back. Twist the bones and then the back. Give him fur black. Just black. Just. All in the hand. 
It's jazz hands for witches. This uh, is This afghan will totally cover her. I think that was her cloak that she took off. But yeah, that'll just cover her. Yeah. What hast thou done with my son, Thackeray? Thackeray. Thackeray. Everyone, me included, was like, oh, it's Zachary. She's just got like a lisp or something saying a Thackeray. No! no Thackeray. Thackeray. The actual name. TH. TH. If you don't believe us, watch it with some subtitles on. Or look up the IMDb credit. I mean that too. Fucking yeah. virgins. Kind of an oxymoron there. Yes. Yes. I do like, now that I have learned a lot more about the witches in Salem, I do like that they actually hung them for this, even if hanging freaks me the fuck out. H hanging is accurate, because they were not burned. They it, were not burned. It was not the Spanish Inquisition. In Europe, they were burned like crazy. Yeah. Hey, look who it is. Uh -huh. And your hair is almost perfect for this right now. Mr. Well, it's longer it's now, long, yeah. But I've been growing it, so. Halloween is based on the ancient feast called All Hallows Eve. Actually, it's called Samhain, it's the one but the okay, Allison. You're the yabos of the film, so. Mmm, yabos. No area code. Omri Cat still has that tie-dye shirt, too. He said that at the con. He found it recently. You'd, still fits him. That, you definitely keep that. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Like, if I was Danny, I'd have kept the, the shawl that this sweater is based off of. Yep. I also like that they keep the color theme um, with this film, with that shirt, because it's yeah. the same colors as their cloaks. Yes! Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you in class. You didn't. They just moved here. Yeah. yeah. From Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. From Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Marblehead. This is Marblehead Cemetery. Right there. I have stood there! It's the other places I've stood. Mm -hmm. There! Tried so fucking hard to find this spot. Who are you? I searched for at least two yes. hours to Who's find this you? spot. From where? It's like impossible. It was done at several different spots with different angles. It's it, you cannot find it. I'm Jay. This is Ernie. How many times I gotta tell you? This is ice. Ice. There's nothing so, says a new name like having it etched into the back of your by. head. Uh, no thanks, I don't smoke. <laughs> Later, dude! Yeah, so Who steals shoes, really? Ice! Ugh. People that get their names shaved into the back of their head. That too. Yeah. And blonde dumb sidekicks been there, stood there! There's a big tree there now. That's a pinhead skateboard. Nice, Max. Yeah, he has an appreciation for scary things, just not hocus pocus. Hey guys, you're so soft. Just wanna... Well, what? Oh. Danny! I'm Allison. Allison. Kiss me, I'm Allison. Ooh. Besides, it's full moon outside. The weirdos are out. Yeah! <laughs> we are the weirdos, mister. Hmm. Couldn't you forget about being a teenager just for one night? Please? No. love to have that painting. Yeah. Like, it's a thing I do with some movies. I look at all the cool paintings in them, and I'm like, I would love to have that painting. Just, I mean, like... Just have a movie painting. That one, though, is so notorious. Of the house. And in you the would house. recognize that. Yeah. If I had seen a bunch of teenagers throwing my fucking jack-o'-lantern into the street, I'd be going out with my bullwhip and teaching them a lesson. Bitches, take all the candy you want. Don't touch my fucking artwork. But what are you supposed to be? Kid on the block. I mean, that would have been better than what Danny says. He's a little Let's go. Jerk face. This is a really nicely decorated house. Whoa. Very nice indeed. Rich people. Yeah, rich Probably people. Cider, Bob, I, you I wish she worn that dress throughout the rest of the movie, like she went to the cottage in that. So the sisters would have seen that. You could have played more on that, thinking, oh, a noble woman or some shit like that, you know? You could have. Missed opportunity. That's a nice dress, so. It is, and it fits her well. I love her hair in that. You don't know how many years I spent trying to get my hair to do that because I saw Allison wear her hair that way. I don't have any. What 
do you call them, Max? Yabos? Hey, what awesome. Them? Hi, I'm his little sister. We just learned about those sisters in school. Are you mean the Sanderson sisters? No, the charmed ones. Obviously. Why don't we go to this old Sanderson house? Well, come on, make a believer out of it. Go out with me. Next year we go trick or treating as Wendy and Peter Pan. With tights, or it's no deal. That's my little blackmailer. Okay, okay, deal, deal. Deal. You'll forget about it anyway. Yes, especially after the night you're about to have. Legend has it that the bones of a hundred children are buried in these walls. I can do that! Kitty. Rare? What's that? Oh, it's the black one. That is a pain in the ass. Seriously though, the first Christmas we lived together, I was trying to make that for you. Oh. Do you know how hard it is to actually figure out what the fuck it is on the sides? Quite hard, I imagine. <laughs> Very. Close thing again, sorry. <laughs> Etsy to make that candle, you'll sell it like hotcakes. Oh, come on, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. <laughs> he said the Max, line. <laughs> Roll credits. Time to go. Max, no! See what happens when you don't fuck before you light things on fire? Yeah. Be responsible. Fuck. But use protection. Yeah. Bring a gun with you. Virgin. Virgin. With the candle. With the candle. Fucking virgins. My house works perfectly! Well, that's because thou art perfect. <laughs> I'll take the away. And we love children! Such a pretty little child. She almost choked saying that. Oh, stay for supper. I'm not hungry. Oh. But we are. Let me, let me play with him. Oh, yeah. You. Hey. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. I love how Sarah is still trying to pet him. She's let, let me touch him. Add a girl. Oh. Good old fashioned frying pan works every time. Damn. Take your weapon with you! Ugh, when will women ever learn? I summon the burning rain of death. The burning rain of death. He makes fire in his hand. And look, she's a good sister to a point too. You can talk. Yeah, no kidding. Now, get the spell book. Kitty can talk now. Now that the sisters are back. I bet you he could talk the whole time. Nah, I think if he was able to talk before then, he would have told his family. I think it was them coming back, even the ability to now speak. Because he's linked with them. I guess so. Theater is cursed. And he's still in the box! Kathy and Jamie and Sarah Jessica Parker were such perfect casts for the sisters. They had so much fun making this, you can just tell. You can! Perhaps it is not too deep. You first. That's what she said. You took my line. Shit, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Looking for the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> Man, there just aren't enough graveyards with cool gates like that anymore. So she poisoned him and sewed his mouth shut with a dull needle. So See, I haven't done that to you yet. Yeah. It always was the jealous type. Who, who are they? Boys? Witches. Boys. Observe. When the sun comes up, they're fussed. Pudding! <laughs> Fortunately, the potion I love that pudding is more scary than toast. It keeps alive and young forever. Therefore, it stems to reason, does it not, sisters dear, that we must find the book, brew the potion, and suck the lives out of the children of Salem before it survives. Otherwise, it's cursed. Explain oh, what? Explain what? Come! We fly! Just... Jeff Hocus Pocus. Just swap the book out with the Necronomicon. Here we are, right? I've got a better idea. How about we swap out Max and Allison? 
for Buffy and Dean Winchester. Sure. That'll go. That would be funny. That'll be great. She's dealt with witches before. Afraid not. Deep asleep in thy worthy bed. Wiggle thy toes, open oh. thine eyes. Twist thy fingers toward the sky. Life is sleeping, not to shy. On, On thy feet, feet. so say a thigh. Look, here it is. Hi, hi. Oh. Yeah, it's Raven, it's obviously. Hi, baby girl. I've woken, and now... Oh, shit, I'm dead. But yay! It's Doug Jones. We love Doug Jones. I love how Sarah's like, here's my boobs. Hi, Billy. <laughs> mm -mm. Boom. Poor Billy. He's lost his head. Yeah. So I'd just like to point out that after 300 years, he would have been bone. Oh no, it was the, the magic. It <laughs> reanimated him a little bit. Remember, magic. Cheese and crust. Quit staring at me! Get moving down that hole! Damn, oh. damn, double damn! Here, I know we're here. Look at that moon. So big, so pretty. Sarah's just hanging around. Of her star collecting children. I suggest we form the calming circle. I am calm! Yeah, some days I like that too. Hey. Sometimes she's like, here, feed my sister to the wolves. Another time she's like, I will protect you. I'm in trouble. Yep, you are. Tell me, friend. We desire. Hey, that may take me a couple of tries, but I don't think that'd be a problem. Uh, jokes you don't get when you're young. Nope. <laughs> Sarah's like, yeah. Whoa, speed bump. Oh, my God. Oh, no, they killed the cat. It's all my fault. Immortal cat done in by a bus. Oh look! He's inflatable. But wait! There's more. Ooh, I hate it when that happens. Me too. What? I told you I can't die. Daddy, you alright? Yeah. Bless you. Ah! I smell children, but I, I don't see children. Which is we are evil, evil, but the mother saying she could see us like this. Oh. Master. Master. Come into the non-smoking section. <laughs> Let the strange woman into your house. Back in the days when we had sections we can smoke in indoors. Yeah, Winnie, sometimes I want to do that with kids too. Especially at the end of a fair day and I don't feel like touching them on their heads. <laughs> yeah, when you don't feel like touching them at the end of the fair day. I'm a hair braider. I feel like I should explain that now. Yeah. I play with their hair and I think it's pretty. You look to black flame cat. He knows. He's a virgin! Oh no, that changes everything. Are you a virgin? Yeah. Really? I just a bunch of kids pulling my chain. I thought I was a real cop. He has a little woman. Sounds tasty. Look at the little witches. Wow! They grew! I love how you can hear the whooshing as if they're actually flying, and we never see them ever again in this movie. So we don't know what the fuck happened to them. Maybe they grow up to be the girls from Hocus Pocus 2. Maybe. Would thou dance with me? I dance with you, Sarah. Call me master. Wait, Wait to hear what I'm gonna, gonna call, call you. you. Take your clock and get out of my house. But honey, I want to take them to our dungeon. Weirdos. 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 Costumes and fun amok. 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 Been there. The town There's hall. actually steps on the back of that building, and I have sat on those steps. There's a picture of me sitting on those steps in beautiful morning light. Ah, the skeleton lead singer. I've cosplayed this character. Very well. He did almost a perfect cosplay the one year for Monster Mania. Monster Mania, yes. I wanted to go as a character from this film, and Billy was just a bit too much at the time for me to really get that outfit together. And Max's outfit's not too distinct, except for like the tie-dye. So I'm like, what else can I do that's recognizable? I'm like, that singer! So I put up an outfit for him, and it was pretty well done.
And lo and behold, he found himself some Sanderson sisters while he was there. <laughs> yep. Brothers of Virgin, he lit the black flame candle. The witches are back from the dead and they're after us. We need help. How much candy have you had, honey? Oh, no, 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 no. Rich than you. She's like, eh. They're right over there. Spotlight. I put a spell on you. Hell, we got Bette Mittler. Might as well have her sing her song. Oh, you're mine. And it's a great song. I think Kathy Najimy's not a bad singer either. She did wonderful in Sister Act. <laughs> She's vicious. <laughs> brava, brava. <laughs> Wonderful. The bottom brother, you cook it sometimes with lovely red crumbs, a little bit of margarine, or oil, olive oil. Smells the seafood. How does she know what margarine is? I have an idea. Natty girl. What is this place? Mm, it reeks of children. It is a prison for children. Yeah, that's right. It's a high school. Of course it's a prison for children. I'm your host, Boris Karloff Jr. You know it took me forever to learn who Boris Karloff was to understand this joke? It's sad. When I was a kid, I didn't know who it was. It's sad. Yeah, it is. But I know now. Who is Boris Karloff now? That you know who he is. Tell me. Wasn't he the wolf man? He's one of the old familiar faces of horror in the Universal Monsters. Was he Frankenstein? He was the Frankenstein monster. Okay. Us. Was he not also the Wolfman? No. That was Lon Chaney Jr. Oh, damn it. Yes. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah! <laughs> Listen, I'm pretty and I recognize the name now, okay? <laughs> okay. Yes. The good old days when kilns could hold people. Yeah. The good old days when they could hold people. Listen. You had this movie, you had when good ghouls go bad, both involved a kiln the size enough to burn people. We did it, Biggs. We stopped it. There's that big ass moon again, still on the horizon. Friends fountain. Of course, this was done before Friends was a thing. So, if you watch so really Friends, that's the, the hocus, hocus pocus, pocus fountain. Come on, Biggs, let's go home. Home. Can you only hunt mice for fun, you're going to turn me into one of those fat, useless, contented house cats. You know, you'd think if her parents would kill her if she stayed out too late, you wouldn't fall asleep on your new boyfriend's lap. She has priorities. Hello. Hello. I want to play. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> She's like, I've had enough of this shit. Yo, witch, get your face off my shoe. Why? Why was I cursed with such idiot sisters? Just lucky, like I guess. Man, how come it's always the ugly chicks that stay out late? Remember, 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 remember. Now I remember. Chong 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 loves that book more than just about anything. It gives her her power. Hold my hand. That's her. It's just glowing. There's yeah. that moon. Still on the horizon. It's not weird at all. Do you want to hit me? Does that cheer you up? It's <laughs> <laughs> the way she hits her there. Gets me. They hold it! Come! We fly! On what? Salt. Get the salt. Now it's getting spooky. 
Stone Horizon. Boobs. Hey, you guys! It is a fan theory. But because they aren't affected by the song that Danny and that Max and Allison lost their virginity. No, it's because of a deleted scene. Oh. Here I'll explain it afterwards. Dawn approaches. We need a miracle. Oh, Danny, you're the one who That's a great flowing cape. Moon is still there. I swear this moon does not fucking move at all. No more candy, please! <laughs> <laughs> you sold your soul! suiting that she uh, dies because of the sin of pride. Hmm. Oh, girl. It hurts. Yeah, I'll help. Take my shoes off. I want to see her turn to dust. Sneaky boy. It's my curse. That and you too. Look, there's just enough left for one child. Yeah. I really hurt my feelings. Do I always want a child? child? Now I think I'll have one. I'm toast. No, no, no. Are they following us? Duh. Real moths in his mouth. Wench. Trollop, I can talk again. Fuck to pop right firefly from the hell. It's a good zombie. Good zombie. Keep the stick. Hi, Billy. You're our friend now. Hi, Billy. <laughs> I have found it. He's lost his head again. Danny, don't leave the protection of the soul. He can find his own head. He's already dead. And don't just stand there with your hands in the air, girl. I am giving her the benefit of the doubt that she is eight. We can still call out dumb shit when we see it. Yes, we can. All right, you little trolley mom. Tastes like apple and a dead man's toe. Hmm. Tells you how much she thinks about her own sisters there. Maybe that'll change in the sequel. You know when characters get popular, they try to humanize them. Max, just let go. Sun's coming. Mm -hmm. I like how she left an indent mm -hmm. in the ground. Doesn't matter if you set his life now, but you get stoned. Yeah. Yeah, you screwed. They exploding. 
I'm done with this shit. Bye bye beans. You saved my life. Well, I had to. You're a big brother. Thanks. <laughs> Feel like that too, homie. Where's He's beans? dead tired. Dead tired. Beans? Wake up, beans! Beans, wake up! Daddy? Come on. Please don't be sad for me. The witches are dead. My soul's finally free. You freed me, Danny. Thank you. Back three beans! It's Emily. I shall always be with you. Spirit kiss. Dislike Casper. Can I keep you? Listen, that was hella romantic. I'm just saying. What took me so long? I had to wait 300 years for a virgin to light a candle. Man, they were partying all night. <laughs> She's still going. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. On you. The book still lives. Does that mean we are getting a sequel? Tomorrow! <laughs> Finally! We've only been talking about this since what, 2014? Been a while. It's been a while. And that, that weirdos, was Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Pocus, the classic of our childhoods. Absolutely. What do we think? You know, this movie, for me, never gets old. No, it doesn't, not for me. There are some people who are like, nah, it's nothing special. Or There's people, some that are like, or, why is there a cult following? I didn't yeah. realize there was such a group of people that didn't like this movie. Yeah, but... Or people that never saw it until they were older and didn't grow up with it like us. Well, not all of us could afford yeah. cable when we were kids, yeah. you know? But for those of us that do have an affection and appreciation, appreciation for this film, it is just... one it's top of the line. We, we don't get tired of it. We love it. Every Halloween, it's what you put on. 30 One Nights of Halloween in Freeform, which was ABC Family, which was Fox Family. <sighs> Rebranding and all that shit. But now it is Freeform. Mm -hmm. They play this constantly, and the reason they do that is because it's the most viewed movie they show. That's actually where I learned about Where Good Ghouls Go Bad with Christopher Lloyd. Because it would be this movie, it would be that movie, they'd show Casper, they'd show... Back in the day it was 13 Nights of Halloween, and then they expanded to expanded 31. Expanded it to 31. Because we need the whole month, damn Yeah! It. And my little magical heart was all, yeah, more! So, then I think they started to expand it to a little bit more scarier stuff. Like, I think at one point they had Frighteners. Cool. Which he loves. Excellent movie. Excellent but yeah, every so often they'll get some R-rated stuff. Mm -hmm. But not too much. Mostly it's just the more family-friendly stuff. More family-friendly stuff. Gets like, I think the, the, most the spookiest. spookiest they had was Sleepy Hollow. Okay, I think they also had Scream as well. For one year and this year i think they have another spooky one happening if they did they didn't have it when i was a teenager okay it would have been more into our 20s like i've seen it like every every year or so it seems like they got one movie that's at least a an actual horror more. movie in essence so but usually it's a gateway horror movie yeah. like it's like the the step up from mm -hmm. family friendly but just one step yeah but for just regular kid friendly spooky it's hocus pocus that's the one it's this is the movie it's the colors, the setting, the time, just the feeling. It just screams Halloween throughout the whole movie. This movie is part of what helped put magic into this month for me as a child. I used to I used to swear to anybody and their cousin that you could smell it. You could smell October. It had a distinct smell and it was magic. And then the cool air. I'm so glad we now Leaves have the cool air outside. Change. Once you get in that 60 degree weather, oh, it's perfect. I would me. prefer 70. Yeah, yeah. But 7D, it can stop there. Then you're happy too. How about 69? Yes. 69 without a breeze. Nice. nice. That's what our house is usually set at, 69. Yeah. Now we don't have anything on because the air is cool enough that we don't need the air running. So, so. explain the scene. Which scene? The scene that allowed Max and 
uh, Allison to not ah. be affected by the song. Yes, talking more about the movie itself, there are deleted scenes in this movie uh, originally that were scripted that were not featured and might have been filmed, but if they were, nobody knows where they are currently or they haven't been like included in any scene. features. There is a pool scene in the school. That is one scene that was cut out and deleted. But also, earlier, there is a scene where the sisters go to a grocery store uh, to buy ingredients to create or make these candy crows. Yes. And, and, to, and then they give oh, them out to oh, the kids. Oh, what was I thinking? I did know that. Yes, when they give because... out the candy crows, that's what enables... Uh, Sarah to put them under her power to summon them with her song. Didn't that's uh, why Max and Allison were not affected by the song. Didn't uh, not uh, because they. <laughs> you were saying I think yes. I've done that too. <laughs> uh, wasn't there an actual song for this event, or did Patty Cake Productions just make a song for it? I think they just made the song for it. If you would like to see what this scene is about and see a fan interpretation of it. Patty Cake Productions makes an excellent movie for this. They also, also on do YouTube. a whole bunch yeah. of villain videos, including um, covers. Like they have this one that's a bunch of Taylor Swift mashups, but it's perfect. <laughs> like don't write it off because it's a Taylor Swift mashup. I mean, for those that don't like her, I actually- Look what you made me brew, I think is what it's called. It's yeah. It's on my phone and it is Awesome. It involves them. It involves the evil queen, Maleficent, Cruella, Captain Hook. But they also have their but interpretation of this deleted scene. They do. And it's fantastic. Um, Go check it out. They also do a version of I Put a Spell on You. Yes. And they do the best cover of that song to try and mimic the witches that I have ever heard. And since we like that song, we may have looked at that more than once. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, there are... The Candy Crows is Reasons what was for some of the in... plot holes in the movie that you may notice. Yeah. Because pacing. Yes. You gotta keep the movie running and going. And honestly, I'm glad they cut it. It w really is not It needed. left a plot hole, but it's not that big of a plot hole that you can just go, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's just like, whatevs, you know. Maybe they, you know. Yeah, because they're teenagers, and who would be surprised? <laughs> not me. Not even a little bit. Mm hmm Yeah. But still, Danny was not affected by the song either. Danny was already kidnapped by the witches. Kidnapped, but even still, the song would affect. Not if she a was child. in the cottage and couldn't hear it. I don't know. It's just. It's one of those things where we, we gloss Ice over and Jay to get were not the full story. Either. No, but are they, are they pure? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Jay, probably. Ice. You see, he's this... gonna tell you he's not. <laughs> This is no just one of those what. things when you watch movies, don't think on it too much. It's just plot getting in the way of the story. Mm -hmm. And the story is, S I sing, children come, we suck their souls out. That's what was the important yes. part. But um, overall, just We're not a cinema sins wonderful here. movie. And I think part of what made it is the, the soundtrack. Fantastic. Any movie that has a great soundtrack, whether it be just a musical score or just a bunch of pop songs thrown in to create that feeling really that elevates is... any movie. This one had a nice blend of that score, but with a few pop songs put in with a yeah. special song from Which Sarah. is what Kenny Ortega is known for. He's known for being able to blend that sort of thing all together, and that's mm -hmm. why it's really awesome that he's involved in this movie and why it worked so well, because this is like his particular brand of, let me just take this and we're just going to... Okay. And, you know, we have Bette Mittler. Fuck, let her sing. Yeah, why not? And like I said, Kathy and Jamie's no nothing to shake a stick at either when it comes to vocals. So mm -hmm. I don't actually know what Sarah Jessica Parker sounds like. I don't know if that I was actually know. her singing when she did Come Little Children or not. Um, but if it is, props. Serious props. One thing also that everyone can agree on, this is the hottest Sarah Jessica Parker has ever looked. Well, you got her in her prime. Yep. But she doesn't look bad now. No, she doesn't look bad now. She aged well. We we see her uh, pictures and promos from the new movie coming out. Mm -hmm. She still looks great. All three of them have not aged terribly. Kathy Najimi lost weight and she looks very healthy. Yes. Um, she looks great for age and even bet. And they still have good. that energetic glow to them. Mm hmm that I think is the most important. Well, these are like some of their favorite roles they've ever done, so. Can you blame them? They were just I chewing be surprised. up the scenery in this film, and why not? Cause, hello. I would, I would have had a ball. 
Man, I'd have given my right hand to play Danny. I mean, I would have been two years old at the time, so that would not have worked, but I would have given my right hand at eight to play Danny. I'd love to be Billy, you know, the zombie and all. Of course, makeup. because you love the makeup, you love the horror aspect of it. I want to meet Doug Jones eventually one day. I need to get him in a con when he's nearby our area, at least within distance, so I can, like, dress up as Billy and meet him. Because I love to meet celebrities, dress up as their characters. He does. You should see his Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh, yeah. Uh, Carrie always did like that. He was m impressed by that. So I was... Uh, <laughs> he was fanboying, is what he's saying. I was fanboying about that. Hella fanboying. Very cool. Um, and it's a damn shame we weren't closer to Rhode Island because they were calling for extras left, right, and sideways during the film. God, office. they were. I'm like, shit, shit. It was painful because we're only in Delaware. We could have easily gotten there, but it's an eight-hour trip. And they gotta take time off for and, work. Uh, and then you were out of a car for five months. Oh, fuck. And so we only had my car, car and my suck. car is so not good for long distance traveling. But that's our problems, and let's not talk about those. Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, regardless, we couldn't make it. It was sad, and now we're getting the movie that we couldn't be part of, but that's okay. But we're still getting that movie. We're okay. still getting the movie! And we are. Finally! We are going to film our reaction to that. Yes. We do want to set that up. Um, I hope YouTube doesn't screw me over with Disney copyright on this and that one. I'm hoping they'll let us at least show something on it. There was one video in the past where I got really screwed out of anything. That was the cursed one. Um, so I'm hoping But that was Miramax, that. not yeah. Disney. And, and so long as we don't try and make money off of it, we should be fine. No, 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 no. We just want to show you how we Disney react and how we feel about certain things. And Disney can be sticklers for things, yeah. but especially if you're sitting there and saying good stuff about them, they should be nice to us. Yeah, and you know, I always promote everything. Every video I do with this, I include a link right below in the description of where you can go to the official website for that movie, where they have links to buy the movie, or just an Amazon link where you can buy the movie there. Because I am a big supporter of the physical media. Hence the reason he has the 4K. Yes, and when it's yours, it's yours. They can't change it or delete it or alter anything from or... streaming, which is now getting bad if yeah. you're keeping up with the news on that. Uh, so, yes, buy it. It supports them, and um, it's always there for you to have. Yeah, so, like, yeah. if the power of the Internet goes out, you... Well, not the power, obviously, but if the Internet goes out, you still have the ability to watch it. Or if you're traveling and don't have access to streaming services, you can... Pop a DVD in. Yeah, whenever, whatever, with whatever player you have, that'll mm -hmm. support it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, so we are going to try to do that. If you don't see us post it after this, well, the reason is because we got some issues. Or, or Dear Disney, please, 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 we love you. Don't hurt us. Or, ultimately, I would just have to post it without any of the snippets of the videos that we have. Which, if do. you are a true and proper Hocus Pocus fan, you don't need because we basically quoted the whole fucking movie. <laughs> And if you're not a true and proper Hocus Pocus fan, that's fine. Watch our reaction, then watch the movie. Yeah. Or just skip our reaction if you don't feel like that, and just watch us talk about it at the end with our review. Yeah, that's true, too. I know. Some people may only want to see somebody's thoughts or opinions and then just talk about it in the comments. So, um, yeah, I read all the comments you guys post on here. You yes, know. we both do. It's yep. fun. All the feedback, I appreciate. You know, cool feedback, cool comment. Negative comment, whatever, skip. <laughs> we don't actually get too many of those. It's really nice. No, Thank you. Not too bad. Thank you for the kind people. We do yes. appreciate that. We try to not suck or be annoying. Be annoying or. With boring. the review movies, I'm sorry, you're going to get a little bit more annoying, especially if it's one I know word for word. Yes. But then that just makes a, a video like this one, where it's an appreciation, a celebration of the movie, you know? Mm hmm. And that's what we do with Hocus Pocus whenever we watch it. We celebrate it. We appreciate it. Uh, because childhood, you know? Childhood. It's just, Absolute it's childhood. nostalgia is a hell of a drug. <laughs> nostalgia is a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah. That's a phrase right there. It is. Oh, but yeah, so. Uh, Mama said don't do drugs, but when the drugs are free. <laughs> uh, oh, also, I missed out. When they did uh, at Creature Feature Weekend in Gettysburg, that convention, they had uh, Omri K. 
Katz, the voice of Thackeray Banks, yeah. and they also had uh, Allison there. And apparently they did a showing of Hocus Pocus out on the lawn oh. there. And then they showed up there and they did their own running commentary <laughs> live. And I was so mad because I couldn't stay for that. I had another show to go to that night. Oh, was it a Rocky weekend? Yeah, it was a Rocky oh. weekend. I was doing Rocky Horror. And uh, I couldn't stay for that. And I'm like, I missed it. Oh. I'm so sorry. I know. It's so sad. But yeah, so they are starting to do more uh, conventions. Really if you, <laughs> Thank you. They are starting to do more conventions, the actors in this. Yes. So Pay if, attention. Don't be us. If they're nearby, go check them out. They're very and nice. don't schedule anything else. <laughs> they plan way far in advance. <laughs> Yeah. Plan with them. Yes. But they're very nice people. Go meet them. Yes. And I do that with any movie you love with the characters and the people who play them, you know? Sometimes they're dicks, you know. Yeah. But, but most of the time, they're pretty cool and, you know, they're wonderful. And if you're one of those people like me who doesn't really like to fangirl or fan guy over people, you can just remember that they're people and you can go talk to them like they're people. <laughs> and it's still okay. You mean this person is a person? Yes. Which is strange. I know. <laughs> I just, I don't like falling over people because they're that cool actor, even though I did almost lose my shit meeting uh, Kimberly Br Kim, yeah. Kimberly J. Brown yes. from Halloween Town? Yes. Yeah. Look at you rhyming. Um, listen. It's her name. I grew up with her and she was around my age while I was growing up. Mm, that one hit too close. But the rest of the people that I've met... Less so. Even, not even Matthew Lillard. Even though he was so nice. Yeah, it's great whenever you find somebody who you really admired and they're really cool as well and when you actually meet them. really fun when you take memorabilia or something from a movie they did and they're all like, <gasps> This one! You know? It's and it's really not cool like the famous one, it's like, that weird one yes! that only you watch and, and nobody else. And then they get excited about a movie that they loved and they just really embrace it even if it is one that you know everybody's seeing Cause, like we were standing in line for matthew lillard and like a thousand people were doing their shaggy voices or repeating i'm getting kind of woozy over here while waiting in line and like yeah man okay i think you're just being a little bit much right now but it was their moment yeah yeah uh yeah but then she throws up all is fair in love this renaissance fair movie he did that maybe two people watched and since we work in Renaissance fairs, it was perfect for us, and I'm yeah. like, oh, yes. So I actually got a copy of it because I wanted to show it to people at a show, and I never got the chance to. But I'm like, I'm gonna have him sign this. I'm totally gonna have him sign this. Walked up, his face is like, no fucking way. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, even the Hocus Pocus people go meet go. him at a con, meet anybody meet you love at a con, any great movie like this where it's one you grew up with, you have it's this important to you. big amount of nostalgia for, you have to watch it and every year. Don't be that guy that says, I don't want to pay for this because you know what, those people worked really hard for what they did and getting a little bit of your money from a con visit is also supporting a small business because you have no idea what they're doing now. They might not be doing many movies. This might be their only source of income. Well, that's the way Be kind to your childhood icons. Be kind to the people that you so often, see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you never know what they're going through. Like, okay, maybe you don't want to pay $400 to go meet Robert England. I get that. I do. But not every actor is that. And if you get the chance, support them because you're directly supporting the artist themselves instead of them just getting a cut of something like when you buy memorabilia or you buy a movie. There's nothing wrong with supporting the artist themselves. Mm -hmm. We do love the artists when they're awesome and they create good art. Yeah, you're a dick, fuck you. I don't want to give you my money. Yeah. But off. if you're going to be a you. decent human being, I will hand some of that to you just like I would hand money to any of my artist friends that make something that I think is fucking cool. So. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. And if you can dress up too. Have fun with it, yo. Have fun, man. Listen, we weren't allowed to do this shit as kids. Adults don't have that many rules. Be you. Indeed. Yeah. So, thank you for joining us for this rewatch and review and review of the wonderful Hocus Pocus movie from 1993, a staple of our childhoods. And a staple of our adulthoods. In a movie we celebrate every Halloween. Um, it's 
good one for us to show near the end of the spooky season, but for, well, for me, I know I'm always spooky most of the year, all year. But, yeah, I was gonna say, we don't stop that in this house. We still have yeah. our Christmas tree up, and it's black. <laughs> but it's a spooky tree, and we're like, yeah, it's fine over there, just leave it up. Yeah. It looks good. <laughs> it does. And we're also lazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but thank you once again, and uh, we'll be doing some more videos. We got another couple spooky ones themed, not strictly we've horror, as we've been doing. We've already ruined one, which is going to be... Ocus Pocus 2, which yes. we're going to try to do and, and get on And by to, we're definitely doing it. <laughs> yeah, and um, maybe another one right after that. And that one we're going to leave as a surprise. Yes. Yeah, so, and then I can maybe take some extra time off to not... And yes. all these damn things, because it does take up so much time! I will tie you to anything that isn't your computer chair to yeah. keep you away from it, I promise. Yeah, With but love and affection. We will start to do more of the horror-centric... <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going to stop before. watching horror movies. This is just our Halloween tradition. Yes. And we wanted to share it with you. Mm-hmm. Some, just some fun stuff, mm -hmm. you know? All right, so we hope to have you here with us for the next video, and we hope you enjoyed watching us and being here with us for this one. So uh, until next time, see you then. Bye, weirdos. Bye.